no matter what you're going through, I know that you can stand, for your life is in, in his hand. Hallelujah. Beloved, I'd like to turn your attention to the word of the Lord. Last week I spoke about rest. How many of you remember that? Okay, I don't hear amens, but that's cool. Uh, and this week I'm taking that word forward. I'm speaking about rest, duration. Okay, we're going further. Last week was rest, and this week is restoration. The title is, It is Time for Restitution and Restoration. Somebody say, Amen. Beloved, I want you this morning to be connected with me. All right? This is just not, this is a rest and restora- restitution and restoration. Let me tell you, we're taking it back by force. We're claiming things of the way what the enemy has stolen. And I say, this is not going to be a preaching. This is going to be a participation. When you hear and you're in agreement, I want to hear amen. Your amen is going to fight for you. Your amen is going to reinforce this word. Your amen is going to cause it to recover. Can I hear amen? Somebody say amen. That's why I'm saying I want it louder. I want you to get connected because today we are calling the things that be not as if it were. We are calling the things that were stolen back. Can I hear amen? And I say, you know what? I am saying, I am claiming for myself and for you. But I also want you to claim for yourself too. We're going to be in agreement. Can I hear amen? I can dish out the best food. I can lay the best biryani. But you can hear and say it smells nice. But unless you partake of it, you're going to miss out. Today, I say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I am tired of suffering. I'm tired of being back by, uh, bombarded by the enemy. I am tired. Somebody, are you tired? Are you tired? The Lord has given us a prophetic word. He has given us a word. I'm linking up with the prophets and you have placed this word in my heart. And today is a day of communion. It's a day of covenant. It says that everything here is pure. Everything here is recovery. This is the resurrection. This is the life. This will testify. Nothing can come against the word. It is written. It is written. It is written. Can I hear? Amen. So I am claiming it back. I am taking it back. Somebody say, I am taking back. No, you don't know what you're taking back, but I'm going to tell you what you're taking back. We're going to take back. Can I hear? Amen. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm declaring this day because I'm angry with the enemy. Because I'm the first and the greatest, one of the great victims of this word. You understand? And you know what? Sometimes we, 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 we get slack. You understand? We get slack. We allow the rapist to keep raping us. We allow the torturer to keep torturing us. We allow the thief to keep stealing. And we leave it. And we leave it. We think it's okay. We think, you know, sometimes we can get so spiritual. And I was one of them. You understand? When everything was stolen from my life, from, from, from our time we were kids, things were taken from my life. You understand? And you know what? I thought it was a spiritual thing. I thought, Lord, though you slay me, yet I will praise you. You understand? I was counting on and I was praying meantime, season after season. All I've been done. And the enemy was stealing. And he was stealing big time. He was stealing big time. I mean, it's millions. The enemy has been robbing us. He's been robbing us. He's been robbing us. And I thought it was cool. Father, you know, I love you. Every praise to my God. Every worship to my God. Though he slay me, yet I will praise him. But he's coming back and stealing again. He's coming back and stealing again. He's coming back and taking again. And I'm coming to the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. It is okay, Lord. It is okay, Father. It is cool. But I love you more. I'm not worried what is stolen. But it's a lie. It is a lie. And even I was living in it. It's a lie from the enemy. It is a lie. It is a lie to be okay. It is a lie to be okay of what God blessed you. That's something else and somebody else must steal it. I said it is a wickedness and it's a lie of the enemy. Somebody are you in agreement? 
said enough is enough. Enough is enough. Today is a day. On this fifth day of August. I prophesy. A shifting. I prophesy a change. I prophesy a breakthrough. That is coming in this church. A breakthrough that is coming in your life. A breakthrough that is coming in your family. I am speaking it. I'm taking it by force. You know why? Because we have the authority in the name of Jesus. We have been ordained by Jesus to claim it back in Jesus' name. I say to you, it is payback time. It's a season of payback. It is a season of restoration. It is a season of restitution. I say to you this day, everyone, everyone, young and old, something has been stolen from you. Be it your inheritance, your health, your family, your dreams, your property, your, fi your family, your joy, your peace, your blessings. Things that were divinely ordained through the word of God that you shall have and you shall be blessed. You understand? Whatever was taken, I say to you, somebody, something has been taken. But I say to you this day, I'm talking about every area. Listen to me. When I'm praying today, every area of your life where you were cheated of something, I am praying restoration. I am praying restitution in the name of Jesus. I say to you, the person that is behind this all, the person that is behind all this can, cunning, conniving, stealing wickedness. Beloved, is not the drug addicts. It's not the criminals in the streets. It is this one who is the mafia of them all. The illegal possessor. The chief thief. Who is he? John 10.10 10. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill and destroy. The thief here is Satan. The thief is the devil. He will use whatever means, whatever tool, whosoever under his control to go and frustrate and rob and kill and steal and destroy. But today, I am not worried who is doing the damage. I am worried to the chief. I am going for him. He is responsible. I say, Satan! You pay back. You pay back in Jesus' name. Whatever was to be a blessing that was taken away, I say to you today, tell your neighbor today. Today we're claiming it back. How many of you in agreement with me? Today we claim it back. I'm telling you, I want you to tell your neighbor today. Don't worry what they don't know about today. Tell them today. That's right. Today. Vernon today, Lamsla, Lamsla, this day, amen, this day, hallelujah. Now restoration, restitution is a restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner. It means to return, to hand back, yo, to hand back, to replace. Restoration means it is an action of restoring something back to its former owner. Even if your children have stolen because of sugars and all these things and drugs, I'm saying it is stolen. It's coming back. Are you here? Listen to me. It is the breakthrough this morning for this year, but starting today, is dependent how much you believe God can do it. And whatever, I'm saying whatever, 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 I want it back. It says that it is to its former owner, to its former place and condition, to the former place and condition, back into my bank, back into my house, back into my wallet, back into my cupboards, back into my garage, back into my business, whatever it is, come on. Yo, he's going to give. It means to repair. It means to rebuild, redecorate. He must reinstate. 
He must return. But watch this here. I don't want him to do it anyhow. Watch this word. But not any restoration. It means, that means uh, uh, God's word commands that we receive back more than has been lost. Where the final state is greater than the original condition. To a greater condition. It means that the devil must go beyond and he must go above all the original. And he must replace according to God's law. Satan has to release. And I prophesy that release today. I speak it now. I speak it now right beyond your forefathers. I speak a release. What was forcefully and deceitfully acquired by him and taken. I prophesy amends according to God's word. I prophesy amends to God's word. According to God's command. I am demanding amends in Jesus name. Hey, are you with me? I'm demanding. I am any we demanding. We are demanding Fozzy, we are demanding. You know what is a demand? We are putting a demand on 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 amends. What I'm putting a word demand on Proverbs 631. It says, but if he is found this is talk about the devil. If he is found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Whoa. Let me read this further, then you'll understand. In the New Living Translation, it says, But if the thief, but if he is caught, the thief, he must pay back seven times what he stole, even if he has to sell everything in his house. Whoa, yo, I'm telling you something. It is time for a big payback. In fact, when you're getting back, you'll say, Lord, thank you, it was stolen. Because this time I'm getting seven times more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, what is the bet on that? Seven times more. Seven times, tell your neighbor, seven times more. Seven times more. Beloved. I'm saying this here with authority and aggression this morning because that's the only way we claim him back. You hear, you hear what I'm saying? I said he's stolen, he's going to pay back. That's a word. That's a word. Can I hear amen? That's a court order. This is the court order. How many of you know? This is a court order. I'm presenting the court order. It's done. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. I want it back. I've got news to you. Bible says when he is caught, when he has been caught, how many of you know he's already caught? He's already caught. We already know he can come disguise himself as, as whatever, balaclavas, whatever. We know he's the devil. We know he's the devil. Amen. Beloved, I tell you what, by faith today, in Jesus' name, I am pronouncing judgment according to Proverbs 631 I'm pro pronouncing judgment to the thief I'm pronouncing judgment to the thief the advocate my Jesus has won the case he said yes it belongs to me somebody said it belongs to me the advocate Jesus said, yes, it belongs to you. And I'm pronouncing judgment that he must pay back seven times. Pay back seven times. I'm here to serve notice this morning to this thief. In Jesus' name, I serve you notice of everything you have stolen from our lives. Everything. Everything. I serve you notice in the name of Jesus. According to Proverbs 631. I serve you notice. You will make a man. You will restore seven times more in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now let me show you greater measure of this restoration. In Job 2015. It says. 
he had swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again god shall cast them out of his belly i tell you what whatever he swallowed from your family from your life i prophesy the word of god in proverbs 20:15 today you will vomit today you will vomit today you will cough it up today you will cough it up back to where it belongs and seven times more even for everything in your house coming back to us the spoil of the enemy somebody give him praise are you understanding this word the bible is saying he's going to cause god say i'll cause him to vomit it yo i'm going to cause the thief to vomit it out yo i'm going to cause him to cough it up you're going to tell him you know you must cough it up you know that's where the god is saying cough it up cough it up where is the money bible cough it up you must pay back cough it up hallelujah hallelujah today we pray god shall cast them out of his belly from generations past to all that was stolen will cast out out of his belly and come back to us i say unto you this day restitution restoration is on its way i prophesy by faith it is coming i prophesy it is coming we want it back now can somebody say an amen how many of you want it back now we want it back now i say do you want it back yes. amen everything that was stolen i want it back now 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 in jesus name you know what i'm tired of making peace we have accepted what was taken we settle for the losses no more can i hear i repent for settling for less i repent for settling for less i repent for settling for the losses we said it is all right it is all right but i tell you what i'm not looking for the law of the land to help me i've already got the law of my god already helping me can i hear amen hallelujah 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 yo some of you make space in your cupboards make space cars are coming back houses are coming back make space make space open up another account because when it comes you can't put it in a normal normal savings account no interest there open up a market link account or open up something profit open up another account it's coming learn just remind me i'm opening up the fourth account it's coming it's coming i got to, it's too much it's got to move there's millions involved i got to move into other account you know the people mustn't think i'm too rich and you know what i'm saying listen uh, yeah they're going to trouble me they're going to trouble me i'm saying listen to open up another account in jesus name i'm speaking it i'm telling you this is not a this is not just preaching this is a reality i'm believing it i'm believing it i'm believing it today i'm believing it somebody say you believe with me yeah. hallelujah i'm tired of being ripped off and doing nothing about it today as a church we're doing something we say we want it back we demand it we're coming to his nose you know check him out coming to his nose say pay back now pay back i'm presenting the word you see the violent take it by force we don't clap it you can't see him you know operate in the spirit can you understand it's hard to fight a demon but we can fight him with the word you understand make him hop by the word I say the word is going to make him bow. Today is a day of aggression. Hallelujah. We're going to declare and decree the word of our word of the great and mighty judge Yeshua. We're going to prophesy, I prophesy recovery. Tell yourself I prophesy recovery over my life in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Come on. Hallelujah. The devil has stolen many things. But I said today is not touching our faith. Hallelujah, beloved. I, I'm telling you, I, I don't want only recent things taken. Go home and make a list. Go home and make a list of everything that was taken. And you know what? Let's go back to our great grandfathers. Everything that was meant to us, where we suffered. You understand? From 
from the time our great grandfathers from the slaves abused in the parted days. They were earning peanuts. You understand? They were thrown like dogs. They were earning peanuts, second class, third class citizens. You understand? We lost because they, because they were suffering. They could never give us an empire. I don't know if you understand. They never could give us an empire. I should be, I should be smooth sailing now. You understand? The devil has robbed us. I want it back. I want it seven times more. I don't know if you understand. We're going back. We're going back. Now what's there? The law says five years. You understand? You can't go back. Hey, listen here. I'm not going by the law of the land. I'm going by the law of this book. The law of this book says go back to Adam. Go back to the Eve. Go back to anywhere. This law has no limitation. It has no order. It cannot be stopped by the Satan. So no five year limit. So you claim back everything. Somebody say everything. Whoa. Hey, but when you bless, don't forget me. You don't say now. Don't forget us. You know, because you know my problem is when they get too blessed, they leave Christ's kingdom ministry. But I'm saying, don't bless. You know what I'm saying now? Please, please, come on. But I say we're going to get blessed. But I'm going to get so blessed. I don't want you to bless me. I want to be blessed. I want to bless you. Everything. I'm changing your thinking right now. What was physically, financially, spiritually, from your wages to your bonuses, to your profits, to your business deals, to every other deal, I'm going back in the name of Jesus. And I'm claiming back. I'm claiming back restoration. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit search our hearts. And let him search all areas and help you to know what was stolen. I know it's very hard. But I say there's many things we can remember. Is that all right? I want it back. I don't know about you. Want it back. Hallelujah. I want it much. How much more? Seven times more. How, how much more? How many of you just want to settle for full payment? Now, if you put hands up, no problem. I want you because I'm going to pray sevenfold. The sixfold you bring it to me. <laughs> Beloved, today, the Holy Spirit, just close your eyes just for a little while. Right now, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let them go back. Even, Lord, where they touch their bodies with sicknesses, they could not work. They lost jobs. Whatever, Father, in every area, take them back into a road trip. Not to bring tears, but to bring back, to say we will get it back. We're claiming it as a church, as the children of the Most High God. We will claim back everything we lost. Everything we lost. Show them. Reveal it to them. Reveal it to them. In the name of Jesus. Open their hearts by the Holy Spirit. Let them go back whatever they can remember. And Lord, they will document because we will utter it. We want it back in Jesus' name. Amen. You can focus here. What I want you to do is go home and write down some things. I know some of you, if I have to write down, I need a whole book. But there's some things I'm going to write and generalize. Certain things I won't. But I'm going to say to you tomorrow, watch this here. I say tomorrow, prophesy this word. You declare and decree the judgment of God. Not your judgment, the judgment of God upon him. And you demand it by faith. You demand that repayment by faith. Seven times more. Seven times more. Write it down. And until you see that breakthrough, you don't quit. Even if you get some back, I want it all. I want it all. Can I hear amen? God is a God of justice. Let us agree with heaven. Let us agree with the word of promise that God will do it for us. Can I hear amen? God is a God that, that can turn uh, what lack, looks impossible and forever lost into a new era of blessing and restoration that will so surpass the past season that all the sting of loss will be removed and replaced with new joy and abundance. And so let us declare and decree a new season, a season of our recovery, a season of our blessing in the name of Jesus some of us are in a state like dry bones. Like Ezekiel 37, he talks about the valley of the dry bones. But I want to say to you, everything was stripped. From your, some of you, even your skin, sinew, everything was stripped. They took everything. Everything was stripped. You are left 
dead, even without breath. They said you died. The enemy said it is over, it is over. You are walking dead at the moment. You are there, but you are not there because of all these things. But I want to say to you, the Lord comes to Ezekiel and he said, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy to your dry bones, prophesy to your life. Say you will live, you will live and you will be blessed. You will live, you will arise and you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Can I hear yeah, amen? I prophesy over you, you will live. I prophesy you will recover everything. Some of you get ready for millions. Some of you get ready for millions and multi-millions. I prophesy. I don't know if you take it. I prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy this recovery in the name of Jesus. You shall no longer be dry bones. Hallelujah. You shall be like a fatted calf. Shall be like a fatted calf. I prophesy even over Christ's kingdom ministries as a church. What the enemy has stolen from the anointing, from the glory of this house. It will be restored seven times greater. I speak it now from this pulpit. I speak restoration of everything from the time we started. And every wickedness to destroy us. Every families were taken. I say this day in the name of Jesus. Restoration, restoration. I claim it now seven times greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Prof, we need to get more chairs. I'm telling you, this there's going to be a shifting. There's going to be a shifting. Hallelujah. I prophesy over your life. You'll never be shamed. You'll never be ashamed. Let us rejoice. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming. Let us rejoice. It is coming. You got to believe it. You got to believe it. You got to believe it. Hallelujah. Beloved, as I, to understand what is the recompense and what's the payment, if you go quickly, I'm just going to skip a whole lot. Uh, if you know the time of Israel, uh, when they have to leave Egypt, when they were held in bondage, and you know the story there, for 400 years they were slaves. They weren't paid the wages they should have been paid. Can you understand? They were robbed. Their children, their children's children, uh, uh, four generations of families where, 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 where everything was taken. But I want to say to you this day, they said, this is a day the Lord is reminding. I just want to show you what is the repayment. The repayment was that the, the, the word of the Lord came uh, to them to despoil. He said, you will go and you will despoil the enemy. You will despoil whatever he's done wrong. The, he has to be despoiled. He has to be despoiled. And he says... The word despoil means when you plunder. When you plunder, that means you take everything. You take everything. Yeah, the Lord made the Egyptians give all their jewelry of the gold and silver and clothing. And, and they didn't even know they're giving it all. It said they gave so much that it made up for more than 400 years of, of loss. They made so much. That's why they could build golden cows. He said they gave so much they didn't know because the Lord caused them to give that the historian said that Egypt never ever recover again from that, from that despoiling. I prophesy this day they, and the Lord our God is despoiling the enemy. He's plundering the enemy so that you get recover again in the name of Jesus. Can I hear amen? In 1 Samuel 30, let's just get ready for communion, get my coat there. In 1 Samuel 30, when David was robbed of everything in Ziglag, the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. But the Bible says there, the word the Lord gave, and this is what the Lord says to us. He says, how many of you things were stolen from you? You know when I say stolen, it doesn't mean to came and took from your pocket. If he took from your father, he took from you. If he took from your grandfather, he took from you. You understand? If he took from your house, he took from you. You hear what I'm saying? This is what I'm, oh, this is, you know what the Lord says? The Lord says pursue. He told David, pursue, pursue, go for it. And how do we pursue? We're pursuing it with the word in Proverbs 6.31. We're pursuing it with this word. He said, go and I'm giving you permission to go. I pursue it. That means you're not going to sit down and cry and think you're going to suffer all your life. I'm saying we're going to pursue. Can I hear amen? Hallelujah. How many of you are willing to pursue this morning? How many of you are willing to take back? Seven times. Seven times. 
I'm not settling for equal payback. I don't want the same amount back. I want seven times more. Hallelujah. Amen. How about you? Amen. Do you want seven times more? Amen. Yeah. Let us stand. Let us stand. Hallelujah. Now watch this here. We come into the covenant. This is Jesus. He died. He did everything. So that that word will come to pass. Are you hearing that? Every one of you who gave your heart to Jesus. Today I call you to take communion. Stop judging yourself. If you're so worried about judging yourself, repent and come to the table. No one is going home without taking communion. That means you will repent. Repent softly. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Don't allow the enemy to beat us. Because that's why we're losing out. That's why we're missing our miracle. Because we're allowing the enemy to dictate us. To tell us who we are. We are the redeemed of the Lord. Amen. Can I hear amen? amen? Hallelujah. Raise your hand. Father, today, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy over my life, over every pastor, leader, worker. I prophesy over every son, every daughter, every member. I even go further and prophesy over the families. What the enemy has stolen, I prophesy. You pay back seven times. I prophesy the return. I prophesy what you have swallowed from my family, what you have swallowed from my life. I prophesy you will vomit it out this day it will come back it will come back it will come back i declare restoration i declare full restoration i claim full restoration in the mighty name of jesus somebody say thank you lord somebody say thank you lord, thank you, lord. hallelujah 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 i give you praise